Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a full review of Colonia by Rasse Fort. Rasse Fort is one of my favourite perfumers at the moment. I think he does really good work if you don't know who he is. He's the man behind Fort Manley. And I own a few from Fort Manley, my favourite of all being Boshnikov and Fate Sultan Mehmed. Those two were my favourites, I wear them all the time. Um, but I own three from the brand. I really like his work. Rasse actually reached out to me personally and asked if I would accept a free bottle to actually review it on the channel. Usually I don't accept free bottles from people, very very rarely I accept accept them. Um, Rasse, I like his work, I, I'm, there's, there's none from the Fort Manley that I think are bad. I think they're all good and I own a few bottles of them. Uh, I think he does great stuff, so in this instance I accepted and he very, very kindly sent me a bottle to check out. So uh, this is sent to me for free for review, so just to make that crystal clear. Although this was sent to me for free, I'm obviously gonna give my honest, genuine opinion. Um, so I'm gonna show you the presentation first of all, and a little bit of the, the history and the idea behind it that Rasse told me. So when you buy the fragrance, it actually comes in this stunning box. It's made out of solid rosewood, so this is literally one piece of rosewood. Each one is completely unique and different with a different grain and a slightly different coloration. Mine is quite a dark one. You can see the grain is just incredible. At the top there it says Rasse Fort Colonia. Um, you got to put the lid on the kind of the correct way to line the grain up, otherwise it's kind of a little bit wonky just because it's hand carved out of one solid piece. This is really beautiful and honestly this is like a really cool trinket box. Once you, you know you take your perfume out and you put the perfume on the shelf you can use this to store whatever you want in as a little kind of dinky really gorgeous box. The bottle itself is a dark kind of olive green colour um, but it is a splash on. So it might turn some people off, you can decant it if you want to spray it on. To test it I did decant some into a spray and I tested it with spraying it on my body rather than splash. Um, that's up to kind of you how you want to approach that. So Rasse Fort is from Turkish Heritage and this is an early memory of his grandfather and how he used to smell and the gardens that he was around and the, the kind of the whole scene combined with the fragrance that he used to wear kind of a light refreshing cologne. Colonia in the Turkish language meaning cologne. So simple cologne. Um, it's an eau de toilette concentration 60 mil for 120 US dollars. Considering you get an amazing hand carved rosewood trinket box and it's 60 mil, I think the pricing is really affordable. Genuinely, I think it's a good pricing. I, yeah, I think it's very fair. You could have easily charged more in my opinion. I'm going to read you a little bit of the information that Rasse gave me personally. Um, like I say, this was a, a dedication to his grandfather and how he smelled in the gardens that he was around. And he references that the gardens then um, had orange trees, lemon trees, uh, jasmine shrubs and lots of different herbs around the house of his grandfather. And he wanted to give the fragrance kind of a vintage feel. He says also that there's a, over a hundred raw materials that went into blending this more than half of which are natural. And it's been a four year project to create this. Once it's gone, it's gone. He made about 40 liters of it. And once it's sold out, it's discontinued, it's never gonna be made again. And he mentions the box individually hand carved from rosewood from a single piece of rosewood. And the very last 100 bottles that are sold will be numbered, i.e. like one of 100. He mentions point of sale being in Peony in Melbourne, Australia and in Scent Bar, which is Lucky Scent, so you can find this on the Lucky Scent website if you're in the US. This was recently reviewed by Luca Turin, who gave it a five-star masterpiece rating. Um, absolutely loved it. Uh, obviously, to get five-star masterpiece from Luca Turin is quite hard work, so congratulations to Rassi. Um, I'll read you a little bit of what Luca um, said in his review. It's quite a long review. I'm just gonna cherry pick the, the main bit about how it smells. Colonia is a homage to the way his grandfather used to smell when spruced up. If so, either his granddad was an epic dandy or Cyprus an embassy of heaven on earth. The iris citrus accord at the top of Colonia, dash real iris, 
mind you, not the chemically aged rye bread beer belch thing they're flogging as real iris of late. It is so beautiful, so redolent of idle, languid luxury that it might as well be made from some imaginary red letter day absolute. Behind it is a lovely dry wood note that reminds me of the smell of freshly laid core carpet. And behind that, a sweet oriental base that lets you know the pre-1922 Levant is still alive and well and bottled in Melbourne. I read you the official notes, which is bergamot, neroli, pettigrain, clove, nutmeg, white pepper, bitter orange, pink grapefruit, blood orange, rosewood, orange blossom, rose, coriander, galbanum, rosemary, jasmine, ylang ylang, geranium, lavender, angelica root, black plum, Indian vetiver, oak moss, hay, amber, benzoin, sandalwood, Virginian cedarwood, musk, and tobacco. You'll notice that iris is not listed among the notes because it doesn't contain any whatsoever. Uh, I will forgive Luca Torian for getting that completely wrong though because when I first smelled it and wrote my impressions to Rasse, the first thing I said was, oh it smells like iris, it's really nice. And it fooled me as well, so it does give an iris vibe when you first smell this fragrance. The first thing that you think you smell is iris. There is definitely an, an illusion of ironones and iris but there isn't any, it's just the way the materials are mixing together giving this kind of impression of iris. When I smell past that and try and focus in on what I, what I am actually smelling, you get hints of citrus. I pick up the pettigrain, which gives it an ever so slight green, leafy, slight bitterness with kind of a bright quality, I get hints of orange blossom, the faintest touch of neroli, and you do get just a sense of these really nice kind of cleaner floral elements, slightly green, slightly herbal. I don't get too much of the spice element, that's very minimal on my skin, but it, it comes across smelling almost soapy-like, clean, soapy, refreshing, slightly floral, and as it dries down, it gets a little bit sweeter. You get a vanillic touch. There is some kind of a vanilla-like note in here that is just adds this touch hint of sweetness, warms it up as it dries down. I start to sense a little bit of the woods as it dries down. And before I read the notes, I was thinking, I couldn't decide if it was maybe even a pinch of oud or a pinch of guyac wood, because now and again, I was, get, I was getting more of a darker woody tone and sometimes I would get whiffs of it where it reminded me of a smoky element, um, which reminded me maybe maybe thinking it was Gayak wood. Then when I went back to the notes and looked, I think it's probably just a hint of the vetiver coming through maybe in the dry down. Uh, there's also rosewood listed as a note. So I think, and there's cedar as well, I think it's just a mix of the woodiness that you get coming through in, in the base. Despite it being a cologne for a man, I actually, when I smell it, I think it's perfectly unisexed. I'll be completely honest, I don't see why a woman couldn't wear this if she wanted to. It doesn't smell overtly masculine to me. It smells very, very smooth, uh, very well blended. It's actually very difficult to pick out singular notes. Uh, you will struggle to identify more than just a couple of notes. It's actually very difficult because there's so many, so many in here, 100 materials macerating for like four years. This thing has, has come together just like a big accord. It's very hard to dissect. But the outcome smells really good. I genuinely like it and I'll definitely keep wearing it. To me, it smells of summer and spring, which is good because I don't actually have that many summer spring fragrances. So I will definitely be wearing this in the warmer weather. To me, I, it doesn't give me the masterpiece vibe, but like I say, very few fragrances in the world do that for me. It might not like blow your socks off. That's uh, the only thing that I would say when you when you think of a five star masterpiece you think of something that's gonna spiritually enlighten you you might not get that vibe um, but it is very good for me personally I would give it a four star I think uh, which is excellent I think the smell is really good I like it it smells great on my skin um, I think it works ideally specifically in the spring but I definitely can pull that off in the summer spring and summer I don't have many spring summer fragrances so this fills a bit of a void for me um, so yeah, I think it smells great. I think it's unisex. If you want something that's kind of got an irisy-like 
tone to it with kind of fresh uh, floral nuances like pettigrain, orange blossom, neroli, these kind of elements with kind of a soft, darker kind of woody dry down with a vanillic overtone to it, slightly sweetened and softened, then you might really like this. And like I say, spring, summer, I'm going to be definitely wearing it. In terms of performance, it actually outdid what I expected with it being called Colonia and being EDT, I thought it would be quite poor in performance. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, two hours after applying this, I could smell it really easily on me in the car on the way to take the dog for a walk and the full walk, hour walking teddy, I could smell this thing around me easily. Uh, so the projection, although I think is quite soft, I don't think it projects far away from your body, it's intimate, but you can notice it yourself for the first two to three hours pretty easily. So I was quite impressed with that personally. And a longevity of between five to six hours on my skin, which again, I think is better than I expected. And I think it's, you know, it's most of the working day. So five to six hours for me is very good. Since this was given to me for free, um, I feel like being nice and <laughs> sharing the wealth, so to speak. So I will personally decant some of this into some two mil sample sprays and I'll pick a few people r randomly in the comments to, and if you want to sample it, um, just let me know. Make sure you're in the UK because I've, I've sent samples to people in America and they've never got them. It is illegal to send perfume outside of the UK and they get destroyed and it's hit and miss whether it makes it through or not. I don't want to waste time me paying postage money when it is a kind of a gamble whether you're going to get it or not. So if you're in the UK and you want to try Colonia, let me know that you're in the UK and you want to try it and I'll pick maybe three or four people and I will post you a two mil sample of it. As a full package, as the whole thing, I think it's excellent. The pricing is very fair. I love the trinket box. I love the kind of the olive green bottle. I think that's cool. Um, so yeah, good stuff. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to Rasse for sending me. I'm definitely going to make use of it. I'm definitely going to be wearing this in the spring and summer and I'm probably going to be storing my agarwood in here because it's cool. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again next time with another one. Take care.